this morning uh, on behalf of the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. What's been holding you back this year? Mm. I want you to think about that for a second. What has been holding you back this year? Or shall I say who have been holding you back? For some of us, it may be a combination of the two. It may be a who and a what. Are you with me this morning? Amen. I know that you want to help everybody. I know that you want everybody to come with you and, you know, let's go into the promised land together. Let's sing songs as I am together. But sometimes you got to just do things by yourself. Woo. I mean, you know, that sometimes you got to go by yourself. I, I know you want the whole family to come with you. I know you want the husband and the wife and the children to come with you. I don't know who it's for this morning, but sometimes That's for me, sir. you've got to go by yourself. Sometimes you've got to come to Jesus by yourself. Amen. Sometimes you've got to walk this walk. Now watch this. You're not walking by yourself, but you may not be walking with the people that you wanted to walk with. Come on. Is the Lord talking to somebody this morning? You may have to walk it alone. Again, I know that you love everybody. Don't stop loving. Never stop loving nobody. I want to throw out that disclaimer this morning before we even get deep into the word. Sometimes if you're not careful, the words may sound like you don't love. To the contrary, you love. You love everybody. But watch this right here. It also includes yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to go out and you got to walk this walk alone. And again, when I say alone, I don't imply that no one is with you because the Lord is always with us and his people are always with us. But sometimes you want to walk it with people, familiar faces. You know, I, I, I wish my whole family was here with me. I don't want to go to church by myself. I want my whole family in church. I want my husband in church. I want my wife in church. But sometimes you got to do this thing by yourself. And my friends, in order to go to that place that the Lord wants you to go, it requires for you to let go of some things. I, I know you're trying to hold on to this and that and him and her, but sometimes you have got to let go of some things in order to go where God wants you to go. And I want you to know this morning, don't be afraid to let go. Don't be afraid to let go. You may, you may wonder, well, what, what am I letting go of, Pastor? You're going to let go of anything that hinders your walk with the Lord this year. This year. As we get ready to enter this new season, this new calendar season, i got to let go of anything that have held me bound this year. And I don't care what it is. I don't care what it or who it was. I got to let it go. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you got to let it go. Whatever has been holding you back, unforgiveness, depression, I'm depressed, everybody left me, so it got me in this funk, it got me in this rut, let it go. I want you to hear the Lord this morning, let it go. Whatever it is that's holding you down, let it go. Complexes, some of us got a thousand complexes, let it go. Let it go. Some of us are strapped in fear, doubt, worry, we worry about everything, let it go. God is trying to do something great with you, but in order for him to take us to that place, 
We got to let some things go. I got to let doubt go. I got to let unbelief go. You know what, Lord? I'm going to step out this year. I may look crazy to everybody else, but I'm going to step out and I'm going to follow you. This is the year. This is the time where you let it go. And even before we cross over into what we're going to be celebrating a new year, 2024, I encourage you now in the last remaining days of this calendar year to let it go. Start letting it go. And this morning, we want to minister this message from you. Obviously, the obvious, let it go. Let it go. Pastor, what is it? Anything that has been holding you back this year, I got to let it go. It is time that I let it go. I know it hurt. Watch this right here. I, I am not oblivious to the fact that that thing or that situation that hurt you, that crushed you, it brought you to your knees. But I'm here to tell you in the name of Jesus Christ, you got to let it go. You got to let it go so you can move forward in him. God, he has great things for you. He knows the plans that he has for you, but some things you're trying to carry dead weight around, and you got to let it go. Look at your neighbor. I need you to let it go. I need you to let it go. I know it hurt. Oh, I know it hurt, neighbor. I know it hurt. I've been there before. I've suffered the hurt before, but I gotta let it go. I can't continue to walk in the hurt. I can't continue to walk in it. I, I know that thing crushed me when he or she left, but I gotta let it go. I gotta have my future. Are you with me on today? Anybody, you want your future? You 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 want what God has for you? You gotta let it go. There's some people that you gotta let go. I know that you want them. I know that you want them because you love them. And I'm not telling you to stop loving them. The Lord is not telling you to stop loving them, but you gotta let them go so you can go and do great things for the Lord. I got to let it go. Or I got to let them go. Are y'all with me on today? Amen. Some people around us, they're just stuck in yesterday. They don't want to move forward. Hmm. They don't want to move in Jesus. They just content. They're content with nothing. They're content with doing nothing. You know, I just, you know, my mama did it this way, and I taught me to do it this way, and I'm just going to do it this way, and I'm just happy doing it this way. But what if God wants to do something greater? Come on now. What if God wants to do something greater? And my friends, I know for somebody in this room or a group of people in this room, God wants to do great things, but in order for him to do it, there's some things that you got to let go. I can't go into my future holding on to yesterday. The Lord says it's time to let it go. It's time that we move forward in Christ Jesus. Is this headed to anybody this morning? It's time that you move forward in Jesus and watch this. Everybody don't want to move forward to Jesus. That's right. Some people are happy in the world. Mm. And for those that are happy in the world, you pray for them, but you keep it moving. You pray for their soul. You pray that the same God who gave you grace will shine his grace upon them. But listen, you do not, and I repeat, you do not stop following Jesus to follow people. That's right. You got to keep moving it forward in the Lord. And that's the word this morning. We got to keep moving it forward. I encourage you to let all things go. Some things are just weighing you down. For so many people, there are things that are holding us down, but we refuse to let them go. Have you ever been there before? Have you ever been there where you just refuse to let? You know this thing is killing you. You know it's hurting you. You know him or her is hurting you. You know ever since you met this person, you just went down, down, down. But for whatever reasons, you just refuse to let them or it go. And my friends, I'm here with a word this morning. Let it go. Let them go. Don't try. You can't force nobody to do something that they don't want to do. You can watch this right here. I'm going to tell you one of the greatest myths there are in the world. Pastor, I can change them. No, you cannot. You can't change nobody. Watch this right here. You couldn't even change yourself. God changed us. Are you with me on today? So as much as you love them, pray for them. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing. But at the same time, I can't wait with you. 
I got to move forward in Jesus. Anybody in here, you're moving forward in Jesus on today. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Hebrews chapter 12, it says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Give God a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Being that we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, there are so many people that have went out and before us. Some people who have went out before us in the faith, they've been killed for the faith. They've been martyred for the faith. Some of them have had their heads sawn off or their bodies sawn and sundered. Guess what? We got to keep running for Jesus. And that's what the Bible says. He said, look, lay aside every weight. Lay aside every sin. And you got to <laughs> run for Jesus. My friends, I want to let you know in this season that we're in the Lord, his return. He's coming back, but he's coming back for his church. And I'm not talking about the world church. He's coming back for a group of people without spot and blemish. It's important that you get right with the Lord while you have the opportunity. I'm not here to dress up the word for you this morning. I'm not here to dress up the, 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 the message. I'm here to send a firm message. Get right before it's too late. It is time that you get right with Jesus. It is time that you let go of the stuff. It's time that I let go of the world. And it's time that I let go of the drinky drink. It's time that I let go of the smoke. It is time that I let go of the sin. It's time that I follow Jesus. And watch this right here. Everybody ain't going to want to get down with it. Some people, they're going to say, Pastor, I want my drink. I want the club life. I want the world life. And guess what? For those people, you got to let them go. You got to let them go. You got to let them do them. Because, my friends, I can tell you this. When the Lord returns, there's not a person on the face of this earth That's right. that would not have wished they would have heeded this message today. And the message today from the Lord is simple. Let it go. Let it go. I chose you to do a great work. Let it go. You don't have time to be caught up in you. Let it go. You, you don't have time to be depressed and, 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 and put your head in the pillow all day and sleeping your life away. Wake up. It's time to let it go. And watch this right here. We're not, we, we, we have sympathy. We, 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 we don't come as though we know that these things don't hurt us sometimes. They crush us to our bones sometimes. Anybody, you ever been in that situation where that thing that hurts you so bad? Amen. You, you didn't think that you wanted to live. You didn't think that you wanted to continue. But I'm here to tell you, you got to continue. You got to keep walking in the Lord. You got to let it go. Let the hurt of 10 years ago, let it go. Five years ago, four years ago, yesterday, let it go. I got to move forward in Jesus. Are y'all with me? Give God a hand clap of praise. I got to move forward. In the words, they lay aside every weight. Weight, they hold you down. They drag you down. If, if I could get a person, I mean, if I get one volunteer this morning, I always like to get a little volunteer. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. This time. Hallelujah. Now, brother, I want you just to walk around the church right there. Just walk around and come on back up here. Hey, man, big kind of do some help right here. There we go. Give me, give me maybe one more chair there. Come on around there. Come on around. Come on around. Now, he's walking freely, hey, man, looking good as he's walking. You see how fast he's walking? Hey, he looking so good, hey, man. Give him a half of a break, hey, man. Hallelujah. Come on back around. Come on back around now, brother. Now, I want you to do the same thing. You can come. You can take a short route this time when you come. But do the same. But just go ahead and pick up them chairs and go on and walk around with you. Amen. Good. All of them, sir. All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yeah. yeah now don't, don't let him hit you. Don't let him hit you now, guys. Y'all make sure you move out the way. You know. Now, one thing about it. He ain't walking that fast. He's walking, but he ain't walking that bad. Don't let him hit you now. Don't let him hit you. Hopefully, you don't, you don't knock no hole in the wall or nothing. 
come on around. He's straining a little bit, but he's making it. Amen. God be the glory. I'm glad we got a strong man up here this time. Right, set him on right now. Set him on right now. Set him on right now. Now, 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 I'm going to ask you, that's good. We'll work out the details. I'm going to ask you probably the most obvious of the questions. Mm -hmm. You just did two laps around. Mm -hmm. One lap with nothing. Uh, I know you're breathing a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got one lap that you had three chairs. Mm -hmm. Which one you prefer to do in life? Do you, you want to carry the chairs around? Well, see, that might be the problem. <laughs> now, now watch this. I, I wasn't prepared for that particular answer, but God works in all things. He works in all things. Because unfortunately, God made me set that thing up this morning because he gave me what some of y'all do. Some of y'all, you rather carry weight around. You don't have to, though. Now watch this. I gave you a choice. To walk free with nothing or to walk around all day for the rest of your life with these three chairs. That's a whole difference. Now. Which one? Three. Okay, yeah. I, I thought so. Yeah. Now, guess what? You know, you, you, for 30 seconds there, you're breathing hard. I can only imagine you carrying them for five minutes. You may be laying out. But, but give them a hand clap of praise. Amen. Now, don't worry about the chairs. Now, watch this right here. Some of us, I'm, I'm, I'm glad the way that he answered first, though, because some of us, that's what we do. We don't have to carry weight around, but we do. Every morning we get up, we take out a shower, we get dressed, brush the teeth and all that stuff, and then we, <laughs> we put this weight on. I don't got to carry it. You choose to carry it. Pastor, that's my baby. I, I got, I got the beat. I, you don't understand. I do understand. You choose to put a weight on you that you don't have to. You don't have to put this weight on you, but you choose to. And my friends, I want you to hear the Lord this morning. Watch this right here. As clear as can be, let it go. Put the weights down. Don't worry about if everybody else is going to approve of you either. I don't care what you think. I'm not walking around with unnecessary weight upon me. Put it down. Why, why do I want to walk around bogged down all day? Why do I want to drag something around all day that I don't have to? Now, can we put names to the weight? Mm, why on. do you got to walk around with unforgiveness? Why do you choose to walk around with unforgiveness? Well, Pastor, you don't know what they did to me. I understand that. But it's a choice for you to walk around with unforgiveness. That's a choice. Every day, you choose to walk around with that spirit, or you can lay it down. Pastor, I don't know if I can ever forgive them. Well, that's how I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Because if you don't forgive other people, God won't forgive you. So you got to let it go. Or maybe I'm walking around with doubt. I got so much doubt. You know, when I try to believe so much doubt, it tries to come in my mind. Let it go. For once in your life, take, take a leap of faith. For once in my life, I'm going to step out on faith. Pastor, I don't understand everything. Anybody here beside me, you don't understand everything? Hallelujah. I don't understand everything. But guess what? I know I put my trust in my life in the one who do. Hallelujah. Come on, give me praise for that. I put my trust, I put my faith, I put my life in the one who knows all things. I don't have to know everything. I just trust him. See, see, it is time this year the Lord, he wants to do, I don't know who the word is for, God wants to do something with you, but in order for him to take you to that place, there are some things that you have got to let go. There are some people that you have got to let go so you can move forward to Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Some of us, we walk around with a thousand complexes. We walk in the room, we just assume everybody talking about you. Everybody ain't talking about you. Some people don't even know you. Come on. Hallelujah. But watch this right here. If you don't let them complexes go, you're going to be hindered. 
Because every time you go, you know, Pastor, I think I found the church this time, and I think I found that place, but when I went in there, I felt like everybody was talking about me, so there I go again. I'm back out in the streets again. Let it go so you can move forward in Jesus. Are you with me on today? It is time that you let some things go. It is time that you move forward in Jesus. And watch this right here. I don't know what you got to let go. I don't know who you got to let go. All I know is this. It is time that we step out on faith. It is time that I move forward. The Lord wants to do great things, but he can only do it in you if you let some things go. Are you with me on today? Lord, I let it go. I'm laying aside every weight. I don't want to carry weights no more. I lay aside every sin. I, I know I was raised up to drink, and I know I was raised up to do drugs, and I was raised up to do this, and I was doing that. But guess what? Now that I've learned the truth, I got to let it go. I, I got to let the sin go. I, I got to let the drink go. I got to let him go. I got to let, you know, I'm tired of living with people who I'm not married to. Are you with me? He been telling me or she been telling me that they was going to marry me for 10 years now. I got to let it go. I got to let it go. You, you've lied to me for too long. I got to let it go. And my friends, I know it may be hard, Pastor. You don't understand. We got children together now. Let me tell you something. If he's not willing to marry you, let it go. The reality of it is you shouldn't have never been with him in the beginning. But that's too late for that. But you can change the future. I let it go. Are you with me on today? See, my friends, in this season that we're in, it's time to get right with Jesus. It's time to get right right now. Listen, God is gathering up his people. For those that have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying, I hope that you will hear. He is gathering up his people. But if you think that you can dip on that way in the world and still be ready when he comes, you are lying to yourself. You sound like or you look like the person that's picking up this weight every day. He is trying to get us cleaned up. He wants to get us cleaned up. That's right. Come as you are. Come as you are. Everybody, let everybody know. Come as you are. You can't clean yourself up. Come as you are. But guess what? You got to be willing to let God clean you. You got to be willing to let God get you ready for his return. It's time that we let some things go. It's important that we lay aside every weight. Again, weight, what does it do? It drags you down. Pastor, I was doing good. I was running with the Lord. I had made up my mind. I was going to do Jesus. And all of a sudden, he or she popped back up in my life. Mm -hmm. When are you going to learn? Mm -hmm. Every time when you start going forward, he or she just happens to pop back up. Mm -hmm. When are you going to happen to just let them go? When are you going to just put it down and let them go? Lord, I'm going to put my focus on you. Are you with me on today? Yeah. It is time that we let it go. What's holding you back? As you reflect back on this year, what's holding you back? What have you held on to that was holding you back this year? What, 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 what did you refuse to let go? What did you refuse? What sin did you refuse to let go this year? What weight did you refuse to let go this year? My friends, it is time that we move forward in Jesus. No more walking around in anger. Some of us, we get angry at the drop of a dime. Somebody say something or do something, or if somebody don't respond the way that you want them to respond, you get angry just like that. You got to let it go. Watch this right here. I want to give everybody a revelation. You cannot change any person. God has given everyone free will. God has given everyone, even as I look in this room, God has given every person in this room choice. He has gave everyone in this room the ability to make their own decisions. Guess what? Even as we sit here today, we all hear the same message. We all get the same word. Some people will receive it and change. Some people will walk right out as though they never heard a thing. That is their choice. That is their choice, and you cannot do nothing about another person's choice. Why are you worried about another person's choice? Pray for them, love them, but guess what? Respect their choice. 
Even if their choice is wrong, respect their choice and keep moving. That's right. It is time that we move in Jesus. That's the reason why we're crazy. We're crazy because we're trying to change everybody. Pastor, if I could just change it. I, if I could just change him or her. You know what? They don't want to go to church, Pastor, so I'm going to just stay at home with them. That is the worst thing you could ever do. Absolutely. The worst thing you could ever do is to sabotage your own soul for another person. Amen. i got to move forward in Jesus. Are y'all paying attention this morning? I, I don't care if mom and daddy don't want to go to church and get close to Jesus. i got to get close to Jesus. It's time that you move forward with Jesus. Anybody here you want to move forward with Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise if you want to move forward. It's time that we graduate this year. No more being upset. No more being mad. I got to graduate this year. But that's how some of us start, you know, Pastor, you don't understand, you know, my family, you know, we're jacked up and, you know, I just wish I had the perfect family. See, that's your problem. Mm. That's your problem. You're wishing for something that is not even going to be possible in this setting. You want the perfect family because you've been watching too much TV. Mm. You know, on TV, they portray everything as perfect. You know, guess what? Everything isn't perfect. That's right. People got problems. Families got problems. So rather than you sitting around, oh my God, you know, you know, I want the perfect husband, I want the perfect wife, I want the perfect children, I want the perfect family. Get some, get, grow up. It's time to graduate. You got to let go of that lie. You got to let go of that. Move forward in Jesus. Pray for them, love them, but move forward in the Lord. But Pastor, when I get everybody right, that's when we're going to all come together you all won't be in hell together if you're not careful. Mm, not because right. you're waiting on everybody. It may never happen. I, I know you want your husband saved, your wife saved. Guess what? Why don't you get saved? That's right. Why don't you get saved and let them see your changed life? That's it. I guarantee you, if, if they see your changed life, they may come to Jesus themselves. It is time that we move forward in Jesus. Are y'all with me on today? No longer am I going to walk around in anxiety. Anybody here you walk with anxiety today? You just worried about anything. I know you don't want to tell it. I'm just a worry. I'm just a worry bug. Pastor, I'm just worried. You know, my mama was worried. She put that spirit on me. I'm worried. I'm scared of everything. Boo. Let it go. And listen, I'm telling you the truth. You know, I, I was raised up in the South. I was raised up in the dirty, dirty, as they call it. You know, if you're not careful, you know, the people back in the day, you love them, they have their, their good people, but they'll give you a spirit of fear sometimes. You know, you're, you're everything, you're afraid of everything. No, no, you gotta, you gotta let that stuff go. You're afraid, you gotta let it go so you can move forward in Jesus. Are you with me on today? No longer am I gonna walk around worried. I know whatever happened, it tore you down. Guess what, you can rebuild. Anybody in here you ever had to rebuild before? Okay. You ever had to just, you know, strap it down to nothing and just start over again? Okay. Yes, but you can start over if you just have the right mindset. But don't start over with the same stuff. Let it go. If I'm going to start over, I'm going to build a foundation different this time. Yeah. Are you with me on the day? Yeah. Let it go. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let it go. Neighbor, let it's it go. time to move forward in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 and 14, it says, forgetting those things which are behind, I reach forward to those things which are ahead. I got to forget yesterday. Forget yesterday so you can move forward in Christ. Listen, my friends, God, he has so much for you. He has so much for you, amen. He has so much for his people. He only wants to do great things for us, but there's things that we got to let go. Stop listening to the lies of the world. Stop listening to the lies. Oh, you can do this and be in Christ. Stop listening to the lies. Let it go so you can walk in the fullness of Christ. I got to let it go. Anybody here, you willing to let some things go? Amen. Hallelujah. And I know it may not be, it may not be comfortable. It may not be, you know, a, a pleasant to you, but I got to let it go. I, I got to let it go because I got to move forward to Jesus. I refuse to stay in this place. I refuse 
to stay in this place. Guess what? I may not have the most perfect setting, but you know what? I deserve more than this setting. I refuse to stay here. Is that everybody this morning? I refuse to stay in this place. I've been in the same predicament. I've been in the same rut for about five years. I have got to get up. I have got, you know what? You can talk about it all day long. Talk is good when it's backed up. But most people, we just talk good. I'm going to do this. Next year, I'm going to do this. Next year, I'm going to do this. Before you know it, 10 years that went by, you're still in the same place. My friends, I want to encourage you today to get up. Get up. Let it go. Let some things go so you can walk in the fullness of Jesus. Anybody here, you want all that God has for you. Amen. Well, all you got to do is forget those things which are behind. Forget the past. Listen, we all got it. We all got the skeletons in our closet back there in the past. Forget it. I, I got to move forward to Jesus. Guess what? I refuse. And I mean this literally. I refuse to hang around people that want to talk about yesterday all day. Amen. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Amen. I'm not going to talk about yesterday all my life. Yeah, yeah, we can reflect on a few things. There's nothing wrong with reflection. But I'm not living in yesterday. You remember when you used to go over there and do this? And man, that's a hundred years ago. Move forward. That's right. We're not in high school no more. Yo, we're not children no more. God, you still holding that thing that I did as a child against me? Move forward. For some of us, we got to move forward. I know that I was a trip back then, but guess what? That's not me anymore. It's time that we move forward in Jesus. And the Bible say, lay aside every weight. Lay aside every sin. It's time that we run this race. We got to run this race in Jesus. Are you with me? Amen. You got to run this race. Anybody, you excited about Jesus? Like we, we don't have a lot of people that are excited about Jesus. That's the problem. You know, uh, even if the words say again, lay aside every weight and the sin which ensnares us, which traps us. And let us run with endurance the race set before us. The problem is, a lot of people, they're not in love with the race. A lot of people are not in love with Jesus. Mm -hmm. A lot of people is in love with the world. That's it. And because they're in love with the world, they can't run for Jesus. But I'm telling you to let go of the world. Let go, let it go. Let go of the world. I don't care how long you've been in the world. Guess what? If you're here today and the Lord allowed you to hear this message, then that means you have the opportunity to let it go. Let the world go. Let it go. Say bye-bye world. You got to let it go. But guess what? Letting it go is more than just words. You got to follow with actions. I got to let it go. Guess what? I'm not hanging out where I used to hang out no more. I may have to change my friends sometime. And man, I love you, but if you don't want to walk in Jesus, I, I got to let you go. I got to let you go because no matter what, I want all that the Lord has for me. Yeah. I want it all. I want it all. And my friends, I don't want you to think that I'm giving you an inspired word today. I'm giving you the word from the Lord. Let it go. You got to let some things go so you can move forward. And watch this right here. I don't know how many more opportunities we're going to get. I'm telling you, our Lord and Savior is coming. Now, I know to the worldly ear, that sounds foolish. I know to the worldly mindset, you know, Pastor, uh, you're just talking. Everybody's been saying that for so many years. But what are you going to do when the sky really cracks open? Mm. What are you going to do then? Is it going to just be words then? What are you going to do when you're laying on the deathbed? What you going to do then? You know, I want to encourage you to hear the word. And I don't care, young, middle-aged, old, hear God's word. Let it go. Let it go before it kills you. Let it go. I was just seeing on the news, I think yesterday, I believe, on the news that they was making reference to a, uh, a young lady who had, I guess her, I don't know if it was a boyfriend, husband, whatever, and, and, and 
God forbid, if somebody in here, if you know about this situation, I don't mean no disrespect in no, or no way. I just want to make a point. But a young lady was just killed the other day, or yesterday. She said she was stabbed multiple times yeah. in her home, somewhere in Norfolk off Peterson Street. Did y'all see it? Anybody here see that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch this right. The only thing I could think about, I wonder how many times was she told to let him go. I wonder. How many times does someone say, girl, you better let that boy go? You better let that situation go. And we don't know the situation. No, I'm not sitting here saying I know the details because I don't. But what I do know is that that was a young lady. That was a young lady and she did not deserve to be stabbed to death. That I know that. I, I know that somebody else killed her, took her life. We know that. And guess what? Even though we may not know every detail, there had to be something that happened that in his mind compelled him to do this. Now watch this right here. Now he's in jail. I don't know if she got kids, but one thing we know for sure is that two families in some way have been shattered. That's it. That is the, watch this right here. One family is grieving that their daughter is gone. Another family is grieving because their son is getting ready to go to prison. And God forbid if she has kids. Again, I don't even know if she has kids. It, we got to let some stuff go before it kills you. There are some things that you're holding to that is going to kill you if you don't let it go. I want you to hear the Lord this morning. Watch this right. I know you think, oh, Pastor, it's okay right now. Is this going to still be okay in 10 years? There are some things that you're holding that is going to kill you if you don't let it go. But the Lord sends a warning today. He sends a message. Let it go. Let it go and move forward to me. Look, forget those things which are behind. It is time to move forward now. Right. It is time to press. I got to press myself. Press my way through. Are you with me on today? Amen. Anybody in here you're willing to press forward? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Again, to the family, our deepest condolences. But unfortunately, we see it every day. We see it every day now. Turn on the news every day. Somebody else got killed. We see it every day. Why? Why? Because we're hanging around people that you don't need to be hanging around. That's it. Some people are there to destroy you. Listen, I, I know, I know you can't see it right now. There are some people that has been sent into your life to destroy you. And the best thing you can do is wake up before it's too late. Wake up. Watch this right here. He didn't accidentally put you in a coma before. That was not an accident. <laughs> are you paying attention? It was not an accident. Wake up before it's too late. It is time that we wake up. Love people. Love them. Some of us, we, some of us around here, we're in dangerous situations. We put ourselves in dangerous situations. You better let this stuff go before, we, before you wake up on the wrong side one day. Some of us, we're doing stuff. Pastor, go get that money. That's all I hear people talking about today. Go get money. Go get money. But guess what? Don't let money kill you. You out there chasing money and you put yourself in positions that will kill you or hurt you severely, let it go. It is time that we let it go. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And unfortunately, sometimes we got to let people go. Some people just don't want stuff. Even as I look at this room, you know, I, I wish I could say that, you know, we're all just love the Lord and we all just following Jesus and we're all committed to the same purpose and we are one mind, one place, you know, we're all just following Jesus. But the reality of it is that's not true. Every person came in here to stay with a different mindset, with a different mentality, with a different walk. That is just a fact. And guess what? I am content to let you do you. What you do is not going to affect me. But what I, what I want you to know, though, and what the Lord wants you to know is that you don't have to go down certain roads if you just let it go today. Just let it go. Let it go and decide to walk in Jesus. Amen. Come on, give God another hand. Clap praise this morning. 
It's time that I let it go. Anybody in here, you well, you willing to let some stuff go? Amen. Anybody in here, you willing to at least sit down and consider some things? Amen. You know, at, at the minimum, just sit down and just let the Lord deal with you. Let it go. Let it go. Lord, what do I do? What are you telling me? What do I need to let go? And, and I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, it's already been flashed in your brain exactly what you need to let go. Now, the question is, are you going to let it go? Love people. Love them. But some things you can't walk with certain people. Are you with me on the day? Sometimes you got to love people from a distance. And I know that we don't like that. Pastor, we, we got to love everybody, and I want you to love everybody. But some people you got to love at a distance. You know, I wrote down Matthew 10, Matthew 10, verses 16 through 23. It talks about when Jesus sent his disciples out. Jesus sent the disciples out, and he told them, you know, go minister the gospel, go share the gospel. And he said, look, be aware of men, because everybody ain't going to love you. You know, some people are going to hate you. But it's something about verse 23 in that thing. He said, look, when they persecute you in one city, flee to the next. Can, can I share this with you right here? When he told them when they persecute you in one place, flee to the next, watch this right here. Jesus didn't tell them to stop loving them. That's right. He just told them, let them be. <laughs> let them alone. Guess what? You did your part. Share the word. If they receive it, to God be the glory. If they don't, I'm going to talk to somebody else that will receive it. Guess what? I love you, but I'm not going to sit around begging you to do God's will. I'm going to give you God's word. I'm going to give you what God lays on my heart for you. If you follow it, to God be the glory. If you don't follow it, to God be the glory. You were told. But you got to keep moving. And see, for some of us, we spend so much time in that one place. I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. And now you done talked yourself silly. You done talked yourself. You done talked so much, you done made yourself sick. Anybody ever been there before? Amen. <laughs> you, you done worried so much, you sick now. You in the hospital. Did you hear she in the hospital? What you in the hospital for? Why are you sitting up in the hospital for? Because you done worried yourself literally near about to death? Now, nah, I let it go. I got to let it go. Pastor, you don't understand. That's my baby. I do understand. I got babies too. But you got to let them go. You got to give them to Jesus. Give them to Jesus. Don't stop praying for them. Don't stop loving them, but give them to Jesus. Jesus is the only one that's going to change them. <laughs> Are y'all with me today? He's the only one that's going to change them. Give God the praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. As we look to close today, I want to encourage everyone Lay aside the weights. The young man, he came up here, he walked around free, which represents the ability of all of us to walk around free. The next time I told him to grab this type of chairs, he got it, but it was weighing him down. You could hear it in his voice when he came. He was breathing heavy. Heart bring it up. Are you with me? He didn't have to walk around with these chairs. He don't have to walk around with these weights. There's sins that you don't have to walk around with. You don't have to. You don't have. I know you was probably told some things, but you don't have to walk around with these sins. Let it go. Watch this right here, and I'm even going to go a step further and hear the Lord. It's all a trap. The sin is a trap. Yes, Lord. It's a trap. Some of us, you're trapped. You're trapped. But you can get out of it. But you got to hear the Lord. You got to come out. You got to come out of the trap. Some of you, you sitting around smoking and talking. You got to come. It's your choice. It is your choice. It is your choice to walk, sit around. To keep on sitting around and drinking and talking and just literally killing yourself. That is your choice. But don't get mad at everybody else for living their life. You sitting around, you know, you done smoked yourself up. You ain't looking good no more. You're young, but you're looking like you're 100. Come on. Life will beat you up if you're not careful. And we're not being funny. This is real. 
How many of y'all have ever seen it before? People young. I remember this one individual, and they had said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm I think she said, I'm, I'm 60." But when you look at the person, the person looked like they was like 90. Because <laughs> I mean, when she said, it, I was like, "Whoa." All this time that I've been knowing you, I'm thinking like, I'm like, mother, you know, praise, you know, Papa, let me help you, you know, let me help you along, you know, because I'm thinking you like 90 years old or something. Man, you're just a couple years older than me. <laughs> you're just a couple years, but you look old because that's what this world would do for you. Your little young tender face right now, if you don't let the world go, that little young tender face won't stay young and tender. The world is going to put a grip on you. My friends, I want to encourage you to let it go. Let sin go. Let it go. Pastor, that's hard. Guess what? It's hard if you're in the wrong environments. That's right. It's harder if you're in the wrong environments. That's why you got to let some things go. I got to let some things go. I got to put myself around the right people so I can grow in Jesus. Are you with me on today? Anybody in here, you used to smoke cigarettes? You used to. If you're still smoking, don't raise your hand. Stand up if you used to smoke. You used to smoke cigarettes. Amen. Now we got a few people here. Now look, praise and worship leader over here. You know, used to smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke cigarettes. A lot of us used to smoke cigarettes. Watch this right here. They're not standing up because they're proud of it. They're standing up because I want you to know that God can deliver you. That's right. God can deliver you from smoking cigarettes because it's five of us right here that proves that. God can deliver you, but it's your choice. Now, watch this right here. In order for that to be easier for me to carry out, you know what I did? I stopped hanging around people smoking cigarettes. <laughs> I can't be trying to stop smoking, but I'm hanging around smoke. Because naturally, if you hang around smoke, well, eventually, hey, let me get one of the new boards. How many of you used to drink? Used to. If you're still drinking, sit down. Right? Stand up if you used to drink. Man, just two of us? <laughs> okay, well, precious, sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit down. I'm not gonna drink two wine coolers. She makes me <laughs> <laughs> sit down somewhere. How many people in here you used to be? You used to be strung out on drink. Oh, no. Strung out, strung out. drink. You drink every day. Oh, no. Hey, a couple of stuff. Y'all, oh, y'all didn't drink every day. Are y'all a casual drinker? I was stand up, casual drinkers. Okay. How many used to drink? Stand up. Now watch this right here. But God has delivered you now from drinking, right? Yeah. You're not drinking no more. So watch this. Anybody in here you're still struggling with drinking, you know that you can be delivered from it. That's right. You don't have to. Now watch this right here. Of those standing, have you ever known someone that alcohol killed them? Yes. Yes. I, I know I used to have two neighbors that I loved dearly growing up. And literally, alcohol killed them. It killed them. Like how we drink water, they used to drink light beer. Every day, all day, and literally it killed them. Guess what? You can either let it go or you can keep on doing it. That's right. Are you with me on today? Give God a hand clap of praise. I know you used to be strung out on some drugs. Used to be. Stand up. Stand up if you used to be strung out on drugs. Come on. It don't matter what the drug is. Stand on up. Stand on up. But the God delivered you. Amen. Have He delivered you? Yeah. But who gets the praise for it? Right. God gets the praise. Now watch it. If there's somebody in here who's still battling with it, you can be free. You don't have to walk around bound. You can be free. Give God a hand clap of praise for him. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know this is going to be sensitive, but I have to go here. I have to go here. How many of you all have been delivered from abusive relationships? Stand up. If you've ever been in an abusive relationship, and I'm not going to go into no details, there's no bad business. You've been involved in an abusive relationship. Watch this right here. We thank God for deliverance. Amen. We thank God for deliverance. We thank God for sparing your life. You don't have to stay in it. Thank God for them. You don't have to stay there. If there's someone today that you find yourself dealing with these situations, you don't have to stay there. It is a choice. It's a choice. You don't have to stay there. Let it or them go. And we can continue on. I can sit here and give you uh, sin after sin after sin. 
But the reality of it is, all right, all right, we're going to do a few more. How, how many of you used to be in the club all the time? The nightlife. Come on, stand on up. If you used to be in the nightlife, you know, still live. Sorry? Still live. I didn't hear you. I said, I'm still there. Oh, still there. Well, we want to get you delivered from there. Right now, I'm going to get people that this, this, you used to be. Used to be. Amen. Who used to be in the nightlife? See, watch this right here. You can be free from it. That's the message. The reason why I'm having people stand up that used to do it, because I want people who are still doing it to know that you can let it go. But watch this right here. Everybody doesn't make it out of this stuff. Everybody doesn't make it out. Some people get killed in it. And my friends, before it kills you, I want to encourage you to let it go. You got to let it go. Go ahead and have a seat. Hallelujah. That's the message today. Listen, let it go. Hear the Lord today. Not condemnation. No one is condemning you. How can I condemn you for smoking if I used to smoke? That's right. I'm not condemning you. But what I am telling you is that you got to let it go. You got to let it go. Guess what? Who wants a long, abundant life? Who wants a long, abundant life? Guess what? I want a long, abundant life. I, I, I don't want to die. I don't want to be destroyed when I'm young. How, how many times have we seen, oh, he or she died at a young age? Life gone too soon. And, and I don't know about you, that used to be saying about somebody that was 25, 30, but guess what? To me, 50, 60, 70 is still too soon. Yeah. I want the abundant life. And guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to do stuff that is going to help Satan kill me. I choose to let it go. My friends, I want to encourage you today, let it go. Let the world go. Let sin go. Stop waiting on somebody to come with you. You got to do it for yourself. You got to do it for yourself. I'm, I'm going to end on this part, I believe. For some of us, and I don't know why I keep saying this, but for some of us, I, you want to do it with your whole family or you want to come to Jesus with your friends, you know, like this is the buddy program. Hmm. It, it's not like that. Sometimes you got to make up your mind, I've got to go by myself. I got to go. Look, I talked to my homeboy, your homegirl, say, hey, y'all, come on, let's go, let's go get saved, let's go run for Jesus together. But guess what? They may not want to. What do you do when they say they don't want to run for Jesus? You got to keep going. What do you do when they don't want to put down the weights? You got to keep going. Guess what? I'm, I'm not going to be weighed down behind you. Put the weight down, put the sin down, and run for Jesus. Are you with me today? Give God a hand clap of praise. Go ahead and stand to your feet today, man. Hallelujah. It's a simple call this morning. If you're ready to put the weights down, come to Jesus. If you're ready to put it down, come to Jesus. Guess what? I'm not there. I'm not talking about a pretense. I'm not talking about a show. For those that are ready to put the weights down, I'm ready to put the anger down. I'm ready to put the lust down. I'm ready to put complexes down. I'm ready to put the doubt down. You know what? I'm just ready to put the world down. I'm tired, Pastor. I'm tired. I'm tired. I, I, I need something different. I, I, my, my life has just been going around and around and around. I am tired of going around in circles. I'm tired of putting my confidence in him. I'm tired of putting my faith in her. You know what? Every time I put my faith in them, they always let me down. Can I tell you one that will never let you down? Jesus. Yes. He will never let you down. And my friends, if that's you today, why don't you meet me up here? Why don't you surrender your life to God on today? He's not here to judge you. He's not here to condemn you. He wants to give you the abundant life. But it's a choice. Life is a choice. What choice will you make? What choice will you make? Will you choose to stay in sin? Is that sin worth your soul? Because that's what it's going to be. Listen to me. I, I want to paint this picture out to you right now. See, right now, everybody is, 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 is kiki, ha ha. Everybody's laughing, you know. We're not going to take it that serious, you know. But I want you to know the sin that you hold on to is going to cost you your soul later. 
It's going to cost you later. If you don't let it go, it's going to cost you later. Let it go. No one is here to judge you this morning. Let it go. Let it go. Life is too precious. It's too precious. Life is short. Life is short. Come to Jesus while you can. Come to Jesus while you can. Pastor, it seems like you beg. Listen, I am begging you. I'm begging you to change your life. Because unlike you, I know what waits for the person who ignores me. I know what awaits the person that ignores God's warnings. Come to Jesus while you can. Come while you can. Let it go. Let it go. Come while you can. Like I said, you don't have to have everything figured out. Just come. I'll figure it out on the way. Just come. Just come to Jesus today. Lord, I give you my heart. I surrender my will to you. Some of us, the very weight that holds us down is self. My God. Self. I got to let self go too. You know, self is one of our biggest enemies. As my sister say, this smooth criminal, this smooth criminal of the flesh is going to kill more people than a little bit. Come to Jesus today. Put the smoke down. Put the drink down. I don't care if you're smoking with your mama. I don't care if you're smoking with your daddy. I don't care if you're smoking with your friends. Put it down. They're going to be in hell too if they don't change. Come to Jesus today. Accept Jesus today. Accept him 100%. Not a little bit. All the way. Today, Lord, I give you my heart all the way. I give you my heart all the way. That's the one thing that he wants. We're getting ready to close this portion. If it's you, I invite you to come. I invite you to come. If you need someone to come with you, raise your hand and we'll come with you. You're not by yourself. You're not by yourself. We're here together. We are here together. But guess what? I want you to take this thing serious, though. For somebody in this room, you may not have another altar call. I'm not telling you that you will or you won't. I'm just saying the reality of it is people leave this world every day. I want to make sure that I take advantage of the call. Hear the Lord calling you. It's time to let it go. Give God a hand clap of praise this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. For those on Facebook this morning, if you still want to come, you can come. Or for those on Facebook this morning, I thank you for tuning in with us. Amen. And I, I encourage you to let it go. If you heard the word of God this morning, you too, let it or them go. This is the day. This is the time. This is the season that you walk brand new in the Lord. Look, watch this right here. You don't have time no more. You don't have time to play church no more. You don't have time to go to church today, but then walk out the doors and you're right back in sin. You don't have time. God is wrapping up his people. He is coming back for his people. What will you do? Let it go. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, for those that are hearing, man, if you want special prayer for anything,